Hello, I'm Afro Sam and this is another one of my Tarkov videos. Uh, this one is basically just some nighttime gameplay on Factory again. Uh, I just want to do sort of a little bit of a chat before the video where basically I'm going to be away for the next week and I'm going to try and get two videos done to be ready to be uploaded during that week. But if I'm not able to do that, there may be a little bit of a hiatus on videos during the next week or so while I'm away. Uh, I'm away from the 16th for about a week. Uh, so that's from this Saturday, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, this Saturday until the 23rd, the Saturday after. And I'll be, you know, I'll be trying to get some videos ready to go before I go away, but if I'm not able to do that, um, then yeah, I do apologise that there aren't videos next week, and I hope this one is good, because I'll probably put this one up around the same time. Uh, it's going to be some Nighttime Factory gameplay going for a Metal Gear Solid inspired run, because after my last video uh, on the Nighttime Factory run, I did the Metal Gear Solid music, and I thought, let's just go in with pistols, night vision, light armour, and a really light loadout to see if we can get, you know, get some good sneaky kills just using pistols. Taking a Metal Gear or Splinter Cell inspired loadout is basically that's all it is. So if you enjoy the video, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. I'd rather you gave it a like, but it's up to you. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it, all that sort of stuff. If you want to subscribe, I'm not. I'm not going to force you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello. So after recording the introduction, uh, I started editing the video, and I put the extra part in of the gameplay, or I suppose the main part, and I've deleted it. I was trying to convert it and I ended up using a converter and I didn't notice that I had the box tick which was labelled delete the file once it's been converted and just keep the converted file, delete the original and I lost it, I couldn't recover it, I tried to recover it with a piece of software for recovering files and it couldn't get it back, it's not in the recycle bin so that's gone. <laughs> so I'm now going to re-record the same footage and I just sort of commentate it in a bit of an annoyed way, um, because I lost a load of footage I had with my friend Kyle. We'd done a few runs like this, just using using the pistol, night vision, light armor, light vest, you know, light gear. And I had a few good runs that we'd have got recorded with his perspective as well, but I've lost, I've lost my main bit of footage, so that's gone. Let's hope this one goes well, and, you know, <laughs> hope this footage is interesting enough for you. I would recommend trying this loadout for yourself. Uh, for factory nighttime runs, it's really good fun. Um, because you can just sneak around on the rafters, no one can really see you if, unless they look up, like the scavs don't see you. The only problem you've got is other players, but if you're slow enough, quiet enough, and careful enough, generally you can either sneak around other players or avoid them altogether. Okay, so we've finally actually managed to get in. Uh, this is one of the disadvantages with playing on Nighttime Factory in that you don't often get a lot of people to play with, so it can take ages to actually get you put into a match. I think I mentioned that in my previous video though, but yeah, one thing to watch out for. If you're playing late at night, or at a weird time of the day, you may have to wait a while to get into a nighttime factory match. But here we are. So, my first bit of advice for doing a run like this. Get into the rafters and avoid light. Well, because we've got light armor on, we can actually move really quickly. Which isn't very sneaky. But it might not get into a spot. Now, this hole here I'm aiming at, which might be very difficult to see, is one of the main places people come through, because a lot of other players like to stick in the rafters as well. Now, I'm going to try and get over there a bit, see if I can cover that spot. Obviously, you want to avoid running on metal. Running on stone, nowhere near as loud. Okay, so from those noises there we just heard, there's definitely another player in with a suppressed gun. Those were the bullets ricochet, but I didn't hit the shots, so there's definitely someone else here. But also say if you're playing nighttime factory rooms, learn which lights you can and can't shoot. For example, the one down there, you can't shoot. This one under here you can, the one that corner there you can. The ones inside the offices along here you can shoot. There's one down here you can shoot. A lot of the ones over here by the containers you can shoot. One over there that you can shoot underneath 1986. Shooting those lights out can, can create, well, shadows basically that you can hide in. So I have a feeling as soon as you walk through here, it's going to be looking across towards the offices. Oh. See, just like a Metal Gear game or a Splinter Cell game, sometimes it's best not to shoot people. This light here is one of the ones you can't shoot for some reason. Those lights inside there you can shoot. Oh, that was a good shot. 
he was on the same floor, so he was easily going to spin around and, and see me with his torch. Do keep an eye out for scabs with their torches, because because <coughs> those torches are absolutely deadly. As soon as they shine one of those on you, it's like all the scabs in the area know exactly where you are. This light's here, you can't shoot out. I do wonder where he's wandered off to, this other player. Or she. But... down here. Oh, he's there. Oh, shit, it's with the torch. Ooh. Huh. Oh, shit! a little bit there, that wasn't good. Is he dead? Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, nice They're searching for me, oh my god, this is just like metal. Did I get hit? Only a little bit. door must have been open on the server side, but on my, to me, it looks like it's closed. It's one intelligent scav. Oh, fuck. Did I get him? Nope. He's hurt there. <laughs> fuck, how is he not dead? I was so confused, I thought I'd for sure got him. I don't know how on earth I didn't kill him then. Unless there's more than one of them. The thing about the scabs is they, they're kind of smart in that sometimes they will just spot you through walls and things like that, but other times they're really stupid. Like these scabs that have run through here, after seeing me up here, they walk through this doorway and look over there. Like, they, they don't know that I'm above them, they forget. I don't know, it's, this game can be really intelligent and really cool at some points, but other times it's like... The, the scavs sort of show their show their stupidity sometimes. But I suppose you're gonna get that with a game that's in beta. Or alpha or whatever whatever phase of development Tarkov's in. They're not happy wherever these scavs are. Can't really work out where they are at the minute. Oh. Oh, yeah, but, but, yeah. So reposition when you give them the chance because well you don't want to sit in one spot the whole time and build up a nice pile of corpses around you. As fun as that might sound, with a little bit morbid, uh, it's going to give away where you are if anyone does spawn in late or if there is a uh, player scab that's coming. <coughs> it also makes it kind of difficult to see if you've got scab bodies piling up. Because when they lie down they sometimes like to lie down inside each other's bodies which can make, you know, spotting, spotting the real one a bit difficult. Someone with a torch nearby. There he is. Two of them. Three of them. Fuck. One. Fuck. This isn't good. Ooh. They are panicking like mad. They are running around like little headless chickens. Oh my god. Where the fuck are they going? Ooh, fuck. I hate it when I hear them running on metal. It makes me think they're right on me. How much have I got? Okay, I've got about seven rounds. Okay. 
Where's that guy? I can see the light there. Oh, he's... That light was shining through the... This thing. Weird. Where's this runny boy? Oh. Is he just panicking? Weird. They do behave very weirdly sometimes, scavs. I believe they've got programming and sort of... They have pathing at least. I'm not sure what you'd call it, but they have a behavioural thing. They can basically, when they get shot at, they get scared. And they appear to try and run somewhere safe when they're scared. I believe there's certain like spots around the map that are flagged as safe. Or at least this is me applying my knowledge of... Limited knowledge of that, but... My limited knowledge of how the bots and stuff in other games work is that there are certain spots that can be flagged for certain things, and I'd imagine in Tarkov, based on the way I've seen the scavs behave, that there are certain spots like flagged as safe, and scavs will try and run to those those safe spots, or what they consider to be a safe spot, if they are, you know, attacked. Now once you've had enough of searching through bodies and shooting scavs on factory, well, basically make sure you do search all the bodies. Go and search everybody you can find and then get out basically um, each body you search is going to give you more XP so you know if it's going to be risky for you to do it then don't bother but if it seems quiet like it does at the minute just go around and touch all the bodies you don't have to take anything if you don't want to although you know these scabs can sometimes spawn with things like fort armor and other nice things especially if you want to, you want to take the time to search through the pockets this sneaking this night time creates a really different atmosphere for the game. I do wish, though, that the scabs were a bit more intelligent, you know, so you could do things like, I don't know, hide in places, and even if they shine a torch, they won't see you unless they're looking for you and stuff like that. Like, you know, if they're a bit more like, I suppose, you know, I was doing this video to be inspired by Metal Gear. Well, I was inspired by Metal Gear for this video, but a bit more like that, you know, they sort of did patrols, or they they specifically searched for you if they, if they know there's someone around sneaking. That'd be really cool to see them do. Um, and some more sort of stealth based abilities. Like I remember in one of the early trailers for Tarkov there's a clip of some guy on factory and I believe he's sat upon one of these bridges, possibly this one here and the player that we're watching from the perspective of walks up behind him with a knife, grabs him and, and stabs him. So it's a bit it's a bit violent but it would be a really cool feature to have that you can you know do stealth attacks on people. Oh fuck me! Jesus Christ what have I done? Oh, oh my god I was too busy fucking talking. This this bastard. <laughs> Fuck's he gone? Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I almost smashed my mouse on the desk and I shit myself. <laughs> oh my god. I'm taking those ray bands though. Or ray bench. Right. As I was saying, I, I saw that there was stealth melee abilities in the past in the game. But at some point, well the animations were there at least. I just think that would be a really cool mechanic to have. Ah, so the suppressed person must have escaped earlier. A really cool mechanic to have. To be able to, you know, sneak up behind someone, stab them and, and get out. It would be a really cool, you know, way of wait, doing it without making much noise or wasting any ammo. Could be a really cool gameplay mechanic. Now I do apologise that this footage wasn't super interesting. I know I say that a lot, end of a lot of my videos, but I did have some two-person gameplay. We're going to have some split camera stuff. Kyle had sent me all of his footage as well so that I could merge it together and have, you know, swapping between shots and stuff like that. And hopefully I will have something like that for you people that watch my videos soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this is what I thought I'd put together just quickly uh, because I'd, I'd messed up on the footage and Kyle wasn't around to re-record it. So if you did enjoy this video, please do, as I said at the start, like, comment, subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And thank you for watching. If you do want to find friends for Tarkov, as I've said before in my other videos, I have a Discord which is available now. Uh, there's a link to that down in the description. I play on there quite regularly. Uh, I usually on there most days, most of the time. Uh, and there's always people around as well. There's multiple players, multiple, you know, there's quite a lot of people on there. There's not loads at the moment, but there's about 25, 30 people. Um, you know, that's enough people that we, you know, we're hoping to try and get some raids together, playing with people that watch my videos, or, you know, if you've got any advice you want to give me, or you've got an idea for a video or something like that, please just let me know. Um, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.